Ow! What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to our broadcast. We are getting ready to go here, getting players in the server. We're up to 14, so only a few short. But we're getting ready to go here with Menace to Society versus Dead Ringer Storage on PL Borneo RC3. Now, our uh, announced co cast that's joining us tonight is Sigafu, the engineer superstar, the latest top 10 plays of the month. How you doing, Sigafu? Well, we uh, lose Sigafu there. I don't know. Oh, but, here uh, I am. I don't know. It's oh, not working, okay. but thank you. I'm here. It's good to be here. I can talk. <laughs> yep. Good to have you uh, here. You're an uh, uh, excellent engineer in the Highlander. And uh, we're going to be joined tonight by our uh, second guest, who is another great engineer and Highlander, as well as one of the co-creators of this map. I'm talking about Valen. How you doing, Valen? I'm doing great. Uh, happy to be here. Good. Now, uh, you played in this map uh, last night. How'd that game go for uh, viewers that did not get to see it? Um, it went in uh, Gentleman's Club's favor. Um, went pretty well. Um, I had a good time running defense on our, I'm sorry, running in, uh, minis on the majority of defense. Uh, other than that, map was, at times, kind of hard to push. And other times, you know, if you get the right picks, it can be easy to push. Now, uh, how long would you say that you've been working on this map? And uh, the co-creator is uh, Sean, that's correct? Yeah, um, Sean is probably working on the map for about two or three years. I got on board about a year ago. What's your main role? Are you the, the balance consultant? <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me, x time balance consultant. The one who yells at everybody to come uh, pug it and test it out? <laughs> <laughs> So you mentioned you run uh, mini sentries. Uh, you, is that what you suggest? Is that what you think that the engineer should do? Or um, are level three is viable as well? well? Well, it's interesting that you brought that up, x time because when we scrimmed Mustard's team uh, the other two nights, um, we ran level threes, and we got rolled. And then we mixed it up, and we ran minis on defense, and then we rolled them. And then the following half, they tried running minis on defense. And, um, yeah, so it's interesting. We'll see what Skag chooses to run. But I think for sure we'll probably see uh, Spamfest on uh, level threes. Okay, cool. Should be pretty interesting. Um, what do you feel, you know, this that this map caters to? Are there certain styles of play or certain classes that, that become especially powerful in the architecture of this map? Yeah, that's another another great thing to bring up, x time. The two biggest, uh, most powerful classes on this map are Spy and Sniper. And Dead Ringer Storage is actually missing their superstar spy, Rainy, who puts in a lot of good work for them. Um, they have uh, Murrow subbing, and uh, it'll be interesting to see, you know, I don't know if it'll be interesting to see it. It, it, it might be kind of ugly without their superstar. <laughs> you know, normally I would favor uh, I would favor Dead Ringer Storage on this map, especially a payload map where a uh, sixes base team like... Uh, Murder to Menace to Society usually don't fare so well, especially on a custom payload map. Like that screams mm -hmm. like Highlander fame all over it. But yeah, without their spy, I mean, it, this could really go either way. I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, both teams have very strong uh, rosters. Let's uh, run those down real quick. Dead Ringer Storage, of course, uh, kind of surprise victors in the Team Fortress TV Highlander Invitational. Uh, certainly kind of a nice surprise to, to see a little bit of upsets. Of course, no offense to your team, Valen. None taken. Uh, but let's run down rosters. Uh, right now, for Menace to Society, their scout is going to be Squid, Panic the Soldier, Catsy on Pyro, Platinum the Demo Man, Sky Roller on Heavy Weapons Guy, Spam Fest Engineer, Harblue on Medic, Marissa on Sniper, and Noko on Spy. For Dead Ringer Storage, we have Ninja on Scout Tix, on Soldier Johnny, on Pyro, Mustard Overlord, on Demo Man, Sneaky Polar Bear, aka Jake, in game. And uh, he's on the Heavy Weapons Guy, Skag the Engineer, K Blair on Medic, Tech on Sniper, and Murrow on Spy. Now, uh, let's let's talk uh, architecture a little bit, Valen, uh, because I'm, I'm pretty new to this map. I'll admit it. I've, I've played Borneo on pubs way back in the day. Um, but I haven't gotten a Highlander game in, you know, real properly on it. Uh, the first point, you know, what are the general things that we look out for? Is there a lot of flank plays? Is that uh, the main importance when it comes to pushing here? Um, usually the, you'll see more flank plays in the first point if the combo holds inside the house on the right. But usually you don't see that too often. Other than that, first point tends to be given up pretty easily. Um, 
most people just kind of hold back and, you know, after they lose enough players or lose their gun, they just fall back and try to put up a stronger hold on second point. And then how about second point? I see that uh, we got that big bridge, obviously getting across that and moving mm-hmm. forward a big part. What are the other key areas that need to be controlled there? All right. Well, second point um, can kind of be broken down into three uh, areas, depending how close you hold and when you have your players up. Um, some teams like to opt to hold inside the um, kind of 45-degree angled house that's next to the bridge where there's a big uh, ammo kit and a big health pack nearby. And another one not too far in the yard behind it. So that can be a great place to hold your combo. But you really need to back out at first and stay alive long enough to be able to put up a good hold in there. Um, Other than that, if you're looking at the bridge up into the tunnel, a lot of people also tend to hold to the left there, like right inside the bunker. Um, Mm -hmm. But usually what happens is people get pushed out of the bunker, pushed out of the house. Like once they're out of the bunker, then they pretty much lose the point. And... uh, that's usually how that's one. So, uh, yeah, it just kind of depends on how many people you stay alive is how, at first, is how well you can hold second. And what are the difficulties as we head towards uh, the third point that um, teams have to look out for? The, one of the difficulties I find at third point is um, losing your using your teleporter when you're pushing it can be huge because that distance is pretty big from the spawn. And... Um, also, really getting down that gun, that can be a huge difficulty. And I think also one of the biggest difficulties for defense is not having your flank classes get picked because uh, in order to really hold those chokes, and there are several chokes inside the map, um, you need to have a lot of players up. And mm-hmm. um, you just lose those players and then you start to crumble. So um, pushing in, uh, you know, basic things, you know, watch out for the spy. Um like I said, spy is huge on this uh, on this map, and I think third point is one of the areas where spy begins to go huge. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of angles that they can work, kind of routes that they can run and jump down behind you, getting those backstabs and least opportune uh, moments when you're trying to push in. Um, looks to be very dangerous. Now, pushing to last, is, is this the last that's really difficult to break down? Is it like Barn Blitz Pro that they're going to be very difficult to push? Or is it more like Upwards and Badwater, where uh, the team is essentially designed to win? It's almost more just a question of how long. Um, I would say this follows a little bit closer to the the Barn Blitz example, which isn't... I know a lot of people aren't too fond of it. And I think in the next version, we probably are going to move that spawn, the spawn doors back a little bit. But uh, yeah, I think they're just really close to spawn, kind of makes it a stronghold. But I think the issue with point pushing in last is you need to get that gun pick which can be pretty easy if you have a direct hit timed with the uh, spy going for the sap. And I think once you get the gun, then you can exchange Ubers pretty evenly. And another thing that a lot of teams underestimate is the strength of spy capping it on last. Like, um, I'm pretty sure a lot uh, you can get some pretty decent times on this map if you just repeatedly try to spy cap it over and over again and just push the cart mm-hmm. slowly with distance. And if you can spy cap the cart and get the cart going close enough on last, um, then you really force the defending team to play uh, right on the control point, and mm-hmm. then you know that one, once the once they're just guarding the cart and playing on the control point, then it's a lot easier to push. Well, we do have seventeen players uh, still waiting for plus one. Not entirely sure uh, who exactly we're waiting for, but should probably be in here shortly. Now, do you think there's any other items that uh, teams should be running to to help the push uh, or or particular aspects of this map? Hmm. Uh, at first. Uh, for first glance, I would think not. Um, I, I just think the the key part is not losing your combo in between transition points. Like after you mm-hmm. after the team caps first, or it's eminent that they're going to cap first. You know, don't keep throwing your defensive players at them because those players are just going to get picked. Mm-hmm. Well, it's good that this map has established itself in a sense that uh, it's very uh, close to the to the meta of Highlander payload and uh, the strategies and tactics that are just kind of favored as good solid mechanics and uh, that's what we should see here um, now uh, menace to society definitely kind of considered more of a sixes team um, and dead ringer Sword is certainly a team that's been in the highlander scene for a long time we should possibly be seeing a uh, better teamwork from dead ringer storage um, what are i mean do you think it's basically comes down to those retreat times or do you think even with their, you know, more slightly sixes background that Minnesota Society could post some stiff defenses here? 
Um, well, I really think that this map should favor, uh, well, it should favor Dead Ringer storage. Also because Menace to Society doesn't really scrim that much. And if there's one map that you need to scrim a lot, it's going to be custom maps, maps that don't appear frequently. And so, you know, being a sixes based teams, they have both of those going against them. One, that it's a payload map. And the second being that it's, um, it's also, uh, custom map, and I'm not sure how much Menace to Society scrim this. I'm not sure if Hard Blue knows where all the health packs are, you know? Yeah, that's a pretty important factor. I mean, of course, Team Fortress has other mechanics that you need to keep track of, but it still comes down to that uh, old-school quick foundation. you got to control health packs and ammo packs. And uh, I know that uh, Marissa messaged me and was like, oh, man, you're going to stream us. We haven't been scrimming. Um, so it definitely kind of will remain to be seen. We do have a straw pull up, though, however. Uh, that was Kip that set that up for us. And the results right now, extremely close. They're pretty much even uh, 52% for Dead Ringer Storage, 48% to Menace to Society, although that's just one vote difference. So there you go. Oh, 50-50. Oh, God, it's going back and forth. <laughs> Hopefully it matches heat. like that. Yes, indeed. And it uh, looks like we are going live. Okay, Squid is coming in here. So he's not uh, on the team yet, but it uh, looks like he should be set in there on offense, so they're not going to miss any time here. Indeed. Now, uh, Sigafu, what do you what do you like about this map? Um, you know, it's I've seen a lot of improvement over it. Uh, what I like about it is that it kind of is a very open, large map, which usually can be very annoying. Uh, but the way that this map works out is that it has a lot of flanks to it in that openness, and it's it's kind of like it's open, but it's close together. Um, mm -hmm. There's never too much walking distance between areas, and. Uh, I kind of like that nature where it, it kind of allows flanks, so you're never really getting stuck in an area unless the team's truly holding well. Uh, and mm -hmm. I think that's going to be interesting to see MTS because they haven't scrimmed this very much of how effectively they can hold the flanks and how effectively they can utilize them. MTS going to be on offense first here, so they'll get the chance to push out and set a time while they'll be up against the defense of Dead Ringer Storage. Perhaps they can learn some things that'll help them out on their own defense. But they're certainly going to need to get that cart trucking. The yeah, gates guess... are open. Yep, go ahead. Uh, Sticky's on the right-hand side of the offensive perspective. Looks like they are going to get spotted out, so not going to be able to get a trap there effectively. And MTS doing the patented MTS uh, payload push, which is very unusual, which is bringing the medic out right away, getting very aggressive, trying to take ground as fast as they can. Yeah, keeping that times three on the cart definitely is super effective. Hard blue uh, sneaking closer and closer. Now the Uber being popped while a stab goes down on ticks. Should be a decent Uber. They need some more focus to get this bun up. The Wrangler is out using that shield, but the sap helps take it down. That's a good, successful first Uber. Deer's doing a good job of holding this high ground. A counter push back out onto MTS, forcing them back. And uh, MTS now just having that card just hanging on the edge, so close to capping. But Deer's a really good counter push right there. Yeah, good progress, and um, MTS didn't really lose too much there. Platinum was already down, the rest of the players pretty much backed up. So Harblue's gotten some pretty good buffs across to other players, and it looks like now MTS trying to get aggressive again. Look, DRS is going to give him the ground for free. Uh, take that 30 seconds as a victory. Yeah, and it looks like that's what we are talking about a little bit, the conceding of the first point. Uh, Teleporter is going to get exposed here in a second as well. Level 1 sentries are what's being used, not the mini sentry. So, of course, we were talking about that before, and we'll have to see how that works for Chill here. And MTS just keeping on that cart, trying to take ground, really aggressive style. Uber in right now, they're trying to take it out, trying to take out the gun, they wrangle up, counter Uber's in mm. on the cart, it being air blast being tossed around, Pyro falls down, and it looks like Dears is going to take the better side of this with uh, the Uber. Yeah, and hardly did fall down on that bridge, but knew well enough to just back up. Actually got an arrow kill on Jake there, so big heads up play. Knowing that the heavy was injured, the scout squid pushing forward gets sniper. Soldier in here as well. Misses up his jump a little bit, uh, but Panic is going to be able to uh, get escaped here. And uh, a charge out for uh, red team. It's the conquer by the soldier. And uh, they're going to try to reestablish themselves in this bunker. But that uh, bomb has pushed all the way up to the top of the ramp, so it's not that far off. Pyro touches it a little bit just to stop it from rolling down. 
Get my man trying to get in position. A lot of players here. This should be the capture. Indeed it is. Level 2 sentry gun going to go down. And uh, Dead Ringer Storage back it up already. Uh, is this pretty fast so far, Sigfu? It feels like a pretty good offense. Yeah, they're taking a lot of ground really quickly. I think one thing they're doing really well, I mean, which is, you can kind of write it off as really easy, but if they have people on the cart almost all the time. They're keeping that times three on it. They're not messing around with that. And their players are taking ground, which is what you really need to do with when it comes to payload, is take as much ground as you can when the team gives it to you. It also seems like Harblu has not gone down yet. Um, so that means consistent charges coming out here. Jake gets backstabbed. It's a big loss, losing your heavy early. Harblu hasn't popped it yet. They're just trying to black uh, back out. Harblu at 100 health. The soldiers, or sorry, the heavy weapons guy coming out here. While Platinum goes down, he did get uh, the sentry gun, and the red Uber has been popped. So Blue kind of in a holding point. Harblu not going to come out right now. Oh, he does use it. Uh, oh, disconnected though, and the heavy weapons guy, filthy casual, gets backstabbed down. See how much mustard's gonna toss down some time. Yeah, they're re-controlling this house again. I'm kind of curious to see if they're gonna have a more sentry, passive sentry gun uh, built up on last year, or try to regain the wow. foothold on third. Oh, oh, down goes uh, Harblu right there. Yeah, finally he was actually dodging for quite a while and picked up a bottle. It was a slight chance he could get away there, uh, but the uh, soldier dealt with him eventually. Yeah, and it's interesting to see that all of the DRS players, for the most part, are on this third floor. Uh, Trying to think of who is just the spy, basically. Maybe the sniper are not up there. Yeah, they have a few players lurking around. And uh, MTS, I mean, certainly, you know, we talk about Highlander teams with the Sixes background. And I would say that most of those teams are characterized by strong, aggressive pushes and keeping momentum rolling. And now that momentum is shut down a little bit, I'll have to see how MTS, you know, posts up and, and gets an offensive push here together. You know, they're taking their time just kind of take that ground off that right side up those stairs and just try to take control mm. of that upper third but they're not really getting a lot of ground out of it I think they need a if this push doesn't work here I think they need to readjust and push from that other uh, side directly across to the point and uber comes out from DRS pushing straight into the heavy they're not gonna really get any kills out of this chasing after hard blue but uh, they're just gonna retreat back to the house and uh, now MTS with a full uber advantage we should be seeing a push not too long from now yeah they're gonna need to get the players in position get platinum back healed up all the way and have a good clean uber here. It was nice defense from DRS using their uber and using aggressiveness to just push MTS back. A good opportunity here. Looks like uh, Harblu has Platinum and Squid with him. Uh, Platinum gets the uber, jumping down, um, and Platinum now down on the lower floor. It's going to hurt his ability to be involved in the fight. And the uber's already faded. Looks like they're taking the ground despite Cabler almost went down to Noko just a little bit ago. Uh, but it looks like the DRS is going to. Uh, already to hold back up, but down goes Sneaky, and uh, they should be able to take this the rest of the way for uh, at least this next point. Yeah, it looks like it's no problem right now. Uh, another snipe comes down. Wow, actually holding on to that point just barely. Oh, they keep pushing in. Harbaugh goes <laughs> down as he was just fighting for that capture. It looks like the Demo Man out here. The Demo Man does not get it. Now the scout finally Huge going to. 3k right there. Wow. Yeah, Harbaugh going down was a big loss there. K Blair. Uh, potential was was it Cabler that dropped somebody somebody dropped yeah Cabler dropped panic wow. came in over the top as they're focusing down on the cart got I believe mustard uh, Cabler who dropped and then I, I didn't see who the third one was but huge huge bomb right there yeah that's a big pickup after what was a stiff defense there from DRS for uh, a moment and now MTS has the uh, advantage right here so we'll see uh, they you know they're known that's the thing that they're really good about payload is they push right away they got that mm. Uber they don't mess around. Uh, the big question is, will they be able to focus the gun down when they get the push in so they can, like, complete this push fully? Yeah, Harblu does have an advantage. They're going to know it, and uh, they surely should be pushing in here shortly. Just needs to get together with his players and see where they go. Nope, like goes on the gun right now. No! Yeah, they've rotated left. Got Heavy and Sniper and Demo. There's the Uber Charge. Squid is with them as well. Well, Platinum thrown in is... Wow, taken out. Can't get that gun. That was kind of a really weird skip in by Platinum. Yeah, I think uh, Harbaugh pull, pulled back a little bit because Squid uh, didn't go in, actually, and, and, and changed directions, and I think he went out with him. And uh, now a counter Uber by uh, DRS here. I'm not really sure why they popped themselves. Um. Yeah, Filthy Casual tries to be a little sneaky. Jake's just going to jump in from behind, though, and gun him down. 
So uh, DRS getting a nice little setup here. And uh, Harbly went down just a, a second ago, got killed by Jake there. So Jake uh, picking up good work. I'm just going to see a reset out of DRS here. I mean, this is this is one of the most holdable points. Kind of as you said, uh, guys were talking about pregame, kind of like Bar and Blitz, where that last hold can be really good. And mm -hmm. I think MTS is really going to struggle with this a lot because they really need to understand that when they push in, they need to get that flank side. They can't just push in at one angle. They need to. This point is really big. It's spread out. You need to get every angle coming in, and then you need to focus down that gun as quickly as possible because getting down that gun is really important because uh, it has such a sight line on this map. Mm -hmm. um, to take down. Yeah, and Clay, K Blair does have the Uber Charge advantage now. Certainly going to be helpful defensively here. And things are going to be close enough that they can't really just throw some players in to try to pressure it out and then just wait back and push in with their own. I mean, that's always a bit of a strategy that we could see. We could see a suicide or something, but uh, probably just going to be a straight Uber push in. Here comes Platinum. Uber on him. He's throwing stickies. He does get the gun. Good results. The Uber is out by K Blair. Now on Mustard Overlord, getting blown back a little bit. All right, now they just need to repush it. They didn't lose too many people on that Uber. They got the the gun down, chasing the medic. Squid is gun level one already back up. Mustard yeah. down damage around the carton. And uh, K Blair, or sorry, Harblue goes down as well. Headshot by Tech, so uh, not able to continue any momentum here. DRS getting things back together. Sentry guy still just level one, but oh my God, hard ass Johnny. Reflects a rocket into panic as he was jumping in. That's a big kill. He was going after K Blair and this level one sentry. And Murrow camping the teleport, killing the heavy as soon as he came out. Brutal for him. And Blue has a pretty good uh, teleporter out. Just be able to get forward, uh, players forward pretty quickly here. The dispenser as well. So they're going to get better and better position for their push. But level two sentry gun is already back. Should be level three here shortly. Indeed, there we go. Yeah, again, that last push, I mean, it's kind of what I was talking about. They're, they're pushing from the same angle. Um, I didn't see a lot of people coming in on that. Uh, and so they pushed in from the right side by the barrels and whatnot. They didn't have, it seemed very many people pushing from that flank side. So let's see if uh, the third attempt is going to net them a better result as they're just about it over here. Mm -hmm. They're definitely going to have to find some way to crack their way in here, whether it's picks from the sniper spy or just a very strong Uber. Coco dodging with the uh, in cloak and dagger, trying to get on the Inchi, but caught out right away and uh, going down. Yeah, and uh, just Blue's just posted up. Haven't found too many open openings yet. Uh, Marissa has gotten a couple kills, including Mustard Overlord. That could be the opening. Uber's out here. Hardly able to hold on to it just a split second longer. Walking around with Platinum, who's trying to get out here. And the sentry gun does... Uh, no, it's still up for the moment with that wrangled uh, shield. Be able to get over there and repair it shortly. Blue's getting cleared out. Yeah, that Uber was really poor on MTS's part. They did not wait for the people they needed to. It looked like they basically had Platinum and Catsian on it, their Pyro and Demo, and uh, basically they didn't focus down the gun um, to try to get the frags out, and just then they just got wiped. <laughs> yeah. Noko gets a backstab on Tix, now trying to revolver down the sniper as well. And uh, create some chaos back here. Have to, gonna have to rotate out though. Just gonna have to, kind of, yeah, just kind of see. Now MTS has a little bit of a player advantage, but again, those respawns are right there for uh, defensive teams, so they can. Down goes Cassie to a nice shot by Tech right there. Filthy Casual doing pretty good, pushing in as heavy and being really aggressive. A lot down for DRS right now, but MTS doesn't exactly have full numbers either. Both medics right around 80%. Might be a little bit sooner for K-Blair. 95%. They got, Mustard just got back up. That's going to be really big. I think they didn't have, they had him down, so they were allowed to take a lot of ground and no spamming. And here comes the Uber's exchange. Yeah, it's a good Uber. Should actually be able to body block here a little bit as well. The sentry gun does go down. Uh, Chill not able to keep things up. But Harblue in a tough spot. Does go down to the roller. The Mustard Overlord. And the Red Spy should be able to decloak and get a stab on the soldier. He was just trying to, or sorry, the heavy weapons guy. He was just trying to eat his sandwich. And Blue throwing players in here. Uh, Platinum gets one little sticky over on K-Blair, but plenty of health there. No problem. 
Yeah, but the good thing out of this push is the difference is the big difference. They got that cart really close. It's ready. A spy just needs to keep touching it. Noko can do that. As you guys, Valen again was mentioning uh, pregame, is that you know once it gets that close, you can kind of just have that spy just throw its body at it over and over again and try to get that cap. But it's starting to roll back already. Yeah, definitely you got to stop the rollback as much as possible. I mean, you you fought for that inch of land. You got to keep it going. Uh, Noko does try to get close in, but gets totally pushed off. So. Cart's still going to be rolling, and Red is counter pop their Uber. Trying to get in and find Harblue, but not going to be able to. Mustard Overlord pretty aggressively far forward right now. Heavy Weapons guy with him as well. Cart's still rolling backwards. Yeah, that was just a uh, you know, really good aggressive push out of DRS. Uh, they knew they had Uber advantage. I, I don't know if they thought Harblue was a lot closer than what they did. Um, so obviously uh, MTS is going to have a really big advantage here, but... And DRS is a very aggressive hold, uh, though it looks like Jake's going to get out of the fight right now. Um, MTS might have, an, you know, have a chance here being up 50%, so we'll see uh, how much ground they can take before they have to pop. Yeah, definitely trying to get an early pop out of here is going to be key. Harblue sees the sniper, has to use it. Can they get the sentry gun down? Now Platinum coming in here, a little bit late on the uber charge, has this couple stickies over there. Sentry gun is burning, but uh, Chill using that rescue ranger just shooting... And a lot of MTS down now. Yeah, that's most wow. of them. Yeah, I mean, again, like the thing I've been saying over and over again with their pushes on last year, they're just beating their heads against the wall with they're not having good numbers in. You know, that push, I didn't see anybody near Platinum or, or very nearby, it seems like. Uh, there's not a lot of spam, no focus fire coming down. You know, and when the other, the opposing team has height advantage on you when you're trying to push in it like that, and then you don't have the players to try to counteract that, or you're, you know, the focus fire, anything, you're going to lose that fight every time, and, and that's what's happening to MTS. They're so just kind of doing mm -hmm. the same thing, different angles at least, I can give them that, but uh, at least the cart's close, they got that far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a tough battle for them, and uh, a minute 25 left on that clock could come down to their, the score of their earlier points. They at least were able to capture those pretty swiftly. Yeah, I mean that that that's gonna help them a lot to at least not lose on third. And it looks like Noka's gonna make a play right in the cart right now. I saw, I saw her. Yep, she's uh, decloaked right by the barrel. So they got the razor back on there. So can't set both. Goes for plan ticks, gets ticks, shooting down the sniper, but at least gets a tap on the cart, and that's what's important. Keeping it mm -hmm. right there. And Blue is trying to move in here. They do have Uber charge. Send the heavy out around right now. Have to use that uber charge early. Panic also went down to a reflected rocket. So they lost their soldier and sniper already. Uh, now counter uber coming in from red team to be very effective. Definitely scares off blue. 30, 38 seconds on the clock. Mustard Overlord in a bad spot. He's going to go down. Piped by Platinum. He's on fire. Soldier flanking around from the side. He's in that beggar's bazooka. Noko again went for the touch there on the card. I got caught up by Jake, um, but really kind of clever play they're doing, keeping the sniper on the card. The Razorback can't go down to the spy. You apply them being taken out. Scout on the card! Squid getting oh, a cap! Oh, wow, there we go. Yeah, the uh, sneak cap finally comes through, but it seems like they did have enough damage, enough frags that they were going to pull it off at the end there. But 15:33, uh, and they waste a lot of time on last, about 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm kind of curious, you know, MTS, there's obviously a smart team, very aggressive. Um, you know, I didn't get the chance to say this, but I figured their first uh, their first round was going to be really ugly. Um, but I think they're uh, once they get to that second round offense, I think it's going to look a lot better now that they've played the map for at least two times this week, I think. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> Valen, quickly here, do you think uh, offensively, was there anything that MTS could have done a little bit better to capture that last point? Yeah, I just want to highlight what Sigafu said, and, you know, I think the lack of scrims is really showing through, and I think, you know, on the second half, the second time MTS pushes uh, pushes the point, I think that they'll have a better time on last, but, uh, yeah, I'll take it away to you guys. All right, well, our straw poll that we are uh, running has kind of uh, stretched out a little bit uh, for Menace to Society, as they now have a 20% uh, lead, 60% to 40%. Uh, in terms of what the viewers feel this game will end. And uh, still remains to be seen. We have plenty of game left ahead of us. The second part of the first set starting right now. Yeah, they got uh, the level 3 gun behind house holding with the combo. I, d I generally don't like it when engineers have their gun near the combo. I think it can be a really risky play. Uh, but MTS is, again, known for their aggression, known, known to be very risky. And here comes the demo man and soldier over the top. 
Demo goes, or sorry, Soldier goes down right there. Yeah, Pyro reflect right to his face. That's gonna keep, uh, or sorry, help Hard Blue stay safe there. Pyro is watching the backside of that uh, house as well, making sure nobody comes in. Scout's gonna try to poke his head in here. Dealt with uh, by the sentry gun, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm imagining this is, you know, Harblu uh, kind of, he's talked about this stuff before. He likes to be covered. He likes to be in a house. He can't be bombed right now. He can't be picked by a spy. Basically, brute force is the only thing that can take him out. And yeah, he also take... has uh, quite a few escape routes. Soldier coming in, but ticks. Yeah, revolver down by Noko. Nice play there. Uh, they need to take a little bit more advantage of the flank side DRS. So it's only a soldier on that right side uh, by the trees, uh, but they have basically pushed no one up there. So finally, the engineer coming in by himself, getting on the cart. But and Actually, red has like... backed up a little bit. Yeah, they're now holding that house. But I mean, that's where we saw DRS hold initially, and uh, MTS basically got a whole extra little set of positioning there by taking that forward household initially. Must are doing a good job getting that high ground, not letting them to uh, push out too much, getting the spam in the house. And I think MTS is just going to back off here. As M oh, no, they are, they are yeah. not doing that. Say, I don't know. They, they had an Uber Charge ready to go. Platinum was very far forward as well. The question, though, is how this is going to wrap up, though. And indeed, Hard Blue goes down just right away to the firepower of Jake. The Pyro's getting chased. Uh, Katsy goes down. And so does Marissa on the snipes. Sentry gun up in a nice spot at least. But Red have lost a lot of players here. Yeah, this gun, it's its in a really good spot for that main angle. But once you get around in that house side, um, it leaves it pretty exposed. But uh, already back up, Platinum being able to put some damage down on the cart. Uh, and actually, it's kind of interesting play. Uh, Sky Roll is playing inside the house, um, kind of as a little flank heavy. Hmm. Uh, we have uh, Blue Spy as well, Murrow. And it seems like a pretty good spot to lurk around and, and find an opening gonna walk around a long way to really get behind that medic uh, didn't choose to actually jump on the sentry gun in fact he's really actually just waffling around should just go for it at some point yeah if he gets up onto that staircase uh, up top he can get a really easy jump stab on spam fest he's not turning his back at all for the most part mm -hmm. it looks like uber is out for blue team and cable air and uh, they're trying to just kind of push this cart forward hard blue and mts definitely on that right side flank Mustard Overlord in a bit of trouble. And there goes Cave Lair, actually. Yeah, so that, that was a, kind of a risky play by MTS. Actually, it works out. They popped the Uber Forced on Hard Blue by a uh, sneaky polar bear right there. Um, and they're going to actually keep this point. But if they, uh, they're kind of playing risky because if they got cut off from the other side, they would not have been able to retreat and, and died there. But uh, MTS, up to, I just, I don't know. Yeah, they're kind of playing in this house. Uh, they can really easily get cut off here um, if it doesn't come out their way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, DRS, though, hasn't been able to capitalize on that uh, quite yet. Filthy Casual gets sniped down, and that's going to first Hard Blue to have to rotate down to half health. A lot of pressure coming in. The Soldier for Blue Ticks gets thrown around. Oh, no. Oh, gets saved at four health by the Medic, who is right there. So, nice pickup. And uh, Marissa is going to get taken out as well. A lot of pressure coming in right now. Scout's on the point. The man wants to roll out here. Blue has Kritzkrieg. And uh, they are a little bit disconnected with Mustard Overlord. Might use it here as they jump down. I'm sure if they know where the combo is. Cable are great dodges. 15 health, barely surviving. Says, yo, bro, give me your sandwich. A nice, nice heavy toss. Gets there just in time as uh, Squid was coming around. Gets Cable back down. Oh, and then the soldier steals his bottle. That's the worst thing to happen as a medic. And Spamfest going down to Murrow right there, so no gun uh, for MTS, which is actually a really big deal with DRS being on crits. They do, it's one of their biggest concerns that they have to have, and concern no more. Yeah, and this is a good offset. I mean, uh, defensive crit can strangely work very well in Highlander here. Um, hard blue, oh my god, goes down, drops it. The surprise crit, and uh, you don't see hard blue drop uh, Ubers very often, but that definitely caught him off guard. What a crit there by Mustard. Yeah, great play by them. Uh, it's fortunate that Noko never probably checked it. They probably didn't even know that they were on crits. Mm -hmm. um, and really nice surprise. Really nice uh, sticky there. Yeah, you know, in that office, offensive situation, I mean, catching a drop is even... Oh, my God! Uh, uh, K. Blair just gets totally decimated by Noko there. And Marissa got a nice 2K on card. Now making it a 3K, taking down the sniper as well. And uh, DRS, I mean, they at least got the cap. They're going to have that mm -hmm. forward spawn. 
Uh, they're gonna be able to take this ground, it looks like. Uh, well, let's see, let's see how MTS plays this. No, they're already backing off, yeah, so. Yeah, I want to say that DRS was just, you know, maybe like seven seconds closer on that overall time. Uh, however, you know, since uh, MTS were able to capture at the very end of that last set, I mean, that's actually turned out really important because that could have been round right there. Uh, now yep. DRS, though, does actually have to push last and actually capture last here. Yeah, it looks like DRS, uh, you know, Kabler went down. He had the option to go back to Uber knowing that, you know, they're going to be pushing into a level three on last here. Uh, but I think DRS is going to go with the idea that let's just get frags, you know. If you get the kills, yeah. everything else is going to happen. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to work out to the benefit, but hey, they got nine minutes to try it out, so <laughs> why not? Yeah, and I think it could be a combination of the frags. We're supposed to also getting distance on the cart. Right now they're kind of they're kind of trying to come in from that far side. The crits is out again. They got platinum first, but Kabler went down early, so not too many crit stickies uh, were actually able to come out there. Uh, that's fine though. Should be able to switch guns. Mustard Overlord still fighting. So is the Scout Ninja, but he's going to get taken down. Yeah, a little bit of a misplay. I mean, uh, I'm curious to see. Let's see, Kabler is back on Medigun, so maybe he did just die. Um, I was going to say, you know, you could have gone in there with the crits, popped the Uber, got out, keep Kabler alive. Mm -hmm. Now you got a 25% advantage inherently with the crits. Um, but it looks like they're going to try to do a standard Uber push now. Wow, you're going to try, but uh, Noko comes and gets a backstab on Kabler. So that's going to push things back quite a bit as uh, they're going to have to reset their Uber charge building. And uh, hopefully Chill has a teleporter up here so the run isn't so bad from spawn. And Mustard, they're coming in doing a kind of just a suicide push, trying to get the Uber to be forced out of uh, Harblue. Doesn't get it. I'm kind of cu curious if uh, Harblue's actually going to just counter push out here, if they're going to take some ground kind of like DRS did last game, or if they're going to just sit back and kind of wait for it. Well, uh, I don't think that DRS really is in a situation to do much right now because we did just lose Jish. We lost Murrow. And uh, that initial push in on Harblue uh, didn't get the result they wanted. Now they're starting to have some of those players come back, maybe be able to, to uh, wrestle some room out here. But Tech also will probably have to get some sort of snipe to kind of open things up. Let's see, Murrow's uh, getting ready to go in position right now. He's kind of working his way. Is he on uh, Cloak and Dagger? He is not, so he's going to have to dance for a while while they get they're ready for this spot, push. Yeah, they're going to spot Murrow as well. Panic, kind of a lucky rocket. Uh, but finding Moreau uh, was not too difficult. Um, also, Red Spy, wow, just barely getting away. That's Noko. Ends up getting fed a sandwich, I believe. Oh, no, it's just on the ground. Did not pick that up. Yeah, so DRS, or it looks like they're getting ready to push. They're going to push from this far right side. Uh, they have almost all their players ready. Notice how they're taking their time for this push. Un unlike MTS, who kind of like is, seems like they kind of rush it. Uh, DRS doing a much better job. You can kind of see them coordinating, figure out where they want to push. Uh, Looks like they're getting ready to go in right now. Yeah, there's definitely always that balance, particularly in stopwatch. You know, you, you do have to worry about the clock, but sometimes you have to take time to actually get results. You know, take those extra seconds. And here they come in with that Uber charge on Mustard very quickly. Takes that sentry gun out very quickly. Uh, Marissa, the sniper's down as well. Scout's pushing the cart. Soldier and Heavy looking to protect the cart as it gets pushed. Soldier, or sorry, Scout is off of it. So no one pushing the cart right now. Some decent frags going the way of DRS. They're going to need to continue to get pressure on the cart, though. There's that scout pushing it. If he can win that battle, that is huge. Oh, and so far, Ninja staying alive. Pushes it all the way. Squid could not stop it. And wow, that was a pretty clutch battle right at the end there. And uh, certainly a successful push by Dead Ranger Storage. Yeah, I mean, that was... Uh, I think DRS was going to get that either way, but kind of a mistake there by Squid and for not... You know, giving up that cart, not trying to touch it, not trying to get on it, not trying to stop it, but kind of playing back as if it was just kind of a standard scout fight. Mm -hmm. yeah, I uh, think something else that happened there on the last point is uh, they just let uh, Mustard's team, Dead Ringer Storage, well, actually it was Mustard himself, just uh, walked in on the right side and just took that gun down like he was mm -hmm. just going for a walk in the park. Just three stickies, wasn't even wrangled. It was just easy, right? Yeah, the uh, spy there did a good job as well, uh, just kind of lurking around behind and uh, getting some protective backstabs. Uh, certainly, mustard getting in there early was a, a really big factor. I mean, uh, main point of the sentry gun defensively, especially you know if you know an Ubercharger is coming in, it's to soak up that Ubercharger and, and make them focus on it uh, as much as possible. But as soon as that was cleared up, then uh, Dead Ringer Storage, they just seemed like they pushed through and... 
uh, took that upper location, and we're feeling pretty comfortable to just continue piling players in there. Yeah, one thing I, I want to point out is I was kind of saying that they're they're getting that coordination down for that last push, which is really important. But um, they actually had Sneaky Polar Bear, Jake, uh, they're heavy, DRS is heavy, waiting on the opposite side of the push. So they had firepower coming from both sides. Then they had the engine, I think it was the heavy engineer, and I forget, someone else pushing from the far left side with the high ground. And then as they had the Uber coming in. So the Uber came in, they had that coordination, that left-hand side. They didn't, you know, so it's kind of that counter of MTS who just once they get the Uber, they want to use it. You know, they want that instant gratification. Whereas DS mm -hmm. was that nice, slow pace. They took their time and they had just a beautiful push in taking down the gun and just getting it, you know, uh, really nice and clean. I don't know if we'll yeah, be I able think... to... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Valen. Yeah, I was going to say, I think uh, Sneaky Polar Bear definitely had a lot of great uh, plays there from the flank, you know, pushing in, supporting his team from the opposite side. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, I, I pulled up the stats. I'll share them in the uh, stream chat uh, for this first set here. I'm not quite sure if we'll be able to uh, pull them up on the stream. Uh, but some crazy stats here. Mustard Overlord with a huge 511 damage per minute. Now, uh, Platinum doing respectable work. 446 damage per minute, but also has six more deaths. And uh, I think one thing you know that we saw in those pushes where kind of Platinum getting that, uh, you know, the majority of the Uber getting thrown out there, uh, but also then, you know, kind of ending up uh, being right in the midst of the action as the Uber faded, going down immediately. Or well, perhaps Mustard staying alive more often means he's uh, sticking around after the Ubers to fight as well. Um, you guys mentioned uh, Jake, uh, a.k.a. Sneaky Polar Bear. He had 29 frags. Uh, that's second for Dead Ringer Storage and uh, ahead of uh, the top fragger for Menace to Society which was uh, Marissa tagged up as a Vaporeon in this match. Yeah, the other thing I'd point out is uh, the deaths of the medics. Cabler only dying five times to Harblue's ten. And, and I think that kind of speaks to kind of mixture of just not really knowing that map that well is uh, mm -hmm. just overextending, getting caught in, dying. Looks yeah, like we are think... live here again. Sorry, go ahead, Balen. We still have to say, So do you think, uh, Sigafu, x sign if uh, MTS is going to learn from the last half, they are going to turn this uh, match around here at this halftime? I think they definitely have a chance to turn it around here. Um, I think it'll be more dictated by... And I feel like this is really, you know... I don't know. I just feel like it's more DRS's game. And it's more of just if DRS is messed up, then uh, MTS is figuring it out. Because I'm going to guess that MTS is going to do a lot of stuff exactly the same. I think they're going to get better on their offense. I think their defense is going to probably stay close to the same as what it was. Yeah, it's always the question of which team might improve more. Uh, Dead Ringer Storage in a situation where they're playing offense twice in a row. And they had a pretty good time last time. And you have to feel like if they set another really good time here, it's going to be difficult for uh, MTS. However, on the other hand, MTS did have a very good push the first three points. So, I mean, I would expect them to have another very good push on the first three points. And then just takes one quick capture on the last point and they can win this set. Gates are down. So we'll see how it goes. MTS again holding this house on the right-hand side first. Left-hand side from the uh, attacking perspective. And really big pick out there, out the gate by Tech. Taking down the soldier who's complete, complete flank side. And now you see uh, Tix coming up over round and taking that flank side. Now getting behind MTS. Yeah, it takes down Spamfest and the teleporter. The teleporter actually a good pick there. Although uh, Marissa does deal with that soldier behind. He could have done a lot more damage. Jake goes down as well. So uh, Marissa continuing uh, her hot performance. And uh, wow, then just snipes uh, Ninja as well. So I can't I can't keep up with all the frags she's throwing out. Yeah, MTS, really good job. Clean up the frags right there. Um, DRS lost basically everybody besides their medic uh, on that initial push. Yeah. Uh, somebody asking, how does DRS have one point? Noticing our scoreboard overlay. Well, uh, the points here, this is a uh, stopwatch format, so they're played in offensive uh, sets and defensive, and uh, DRS put up a faster time capturing uh, the first set. Now they're on offense again here. Menace to Society, things starting to fall apart a little bit, backing up, but they still have control of the second house and are in a nice spot defensively So. Yeah, they're doing a really good job. Um, you know, the last last round, I thought they, you know, they, they actually held that house really well. They proved to do it again, but opting to kind of hold back, hold this uh, kind of at the the back house. Um, as DRS is now, they committed their medic. They're out. We're going to see Uber changed right now. 
Mm -hmm. Murrow's going to get spotted out, is able to uh, get invisible again, but uh, Squid's bumping into things, so knows that that spy is lurking around. Uh, definitely a big conflict about to happen here on the cart. Cable Air Aaron and Harbaloo do have Uber Charge. Who's going to blink first, though? Mustard just trying to throw spam stickies in. Uber's Charge popped, and Mustard saved just barely. Very low health, though. They're staying on the cart, but Mustard's going to get a lot of heals, and Harblu goes down. Platinum gets Ninja, but Cabler surviving and Harblu dying. That is a huge difference. Yeah, Platinum and Harblu going down right in that exchange. Mustard really pushing that line, getting the kills, and they're going to be able to get this. And we'll see if they're going to be able to roll it for three, free, but probably not with uh, Spamfest hitting the gun in the exact same spot again. Yeah, it should be able to uh, get good presence, good time capture, considering that Harblu is down. Just now coming back out and getting those heals out there. Uh, Sentry Gun has been moved. Um, pulled back inside just a little bit and repaired up to a level 3. However, it doesn't have that same spot. Squid and Catsy go down. So does the Heavy. Filthy Casual. Good damage here and, and a lot of presence in on the cart. Spamfest picked up a kill on Ninja, but a lot of players coming in here. There goes Marissa. Soldier up top should just be able to deal with this uh, Engineer, at least scare him away from his gun, separate things. Uh, NG on NG, violence as Chill kills down Spamfest. There goes the Dispenser and a lot of things just disappearing for this MTS defense. And uh, MTS right there, they actually were Oh my god, there goes Harblu too. Oh, big plays by Tix right there. Yeah, that's no gun, no medic. Uh, Diaris is getting really aggressive. Mustard all the way out here. Already pushing on uh, Cloak just outside the wow. last point here. Yeah, they have a lot of territory taken over here. Kepler is going to see the soldier who's lurking around. Kepler good dodges, though, and Tix with the direct takes out Panic. It's basically going to be a free capture on three, and MTS really aren't doing themselves any favors. Uh, to make this uh, next set that they're going to have to do on offense uh, seem pretty easy for him. Cabler under attack. Gets a revolver down by Noko. That's a nice play there. Punishes the overextension. But there's the capture. 358. The very first offensive push on, in this whole match by MTS was pretty swift and was a 530. And I just want to point out that uh, Sneaky Polar Bear is running the uh, fist. A Fist of Steel, I think is what it's called. Mm -hmm. And you don't see a lot of heavies doing that. He did that, and I always love it, because he gets that. He actually got that cart because he was tanking so much damage with the fists out and was able to get that point. So now they got that forward spawn uh, rather than having to walk about 10 seconds to get up to this cart. Yeah, that uh, Fist of Steel may be a little controversial uh, in terms of when it's come out or its usability. He is back on gloves of running urgently and does run urgently out of that conflict with 30 health. Murrow on the cart with the dead ringer. Ends up trying to go for a crazy mid-air stab as he gets tossed around, but it does go down. And good job by DRS there. When uh, MTS pushed into him with an Uber, they basically all got out. They didn't lose their medic. They didn't actually lose any key players, and they should be able to re-push and take this ground, though, uh, Yeah, very shortly from now. Yeah, DRS picked up some nice frags there, though, so uh, things starting to open up for them. Uh, Hardblue has to back up. Uber charge here for blue team, but if they get a lot of ground here, then... Certainly, it's just going to be worth them. They try to close in on the sentry gun. Hardblue goes down to Ninja, who also got mix-ups Platinum. So they're going to get a lot of territory here. They will end up with the Uber Charge advantage as well, since Hardblue went down. If they can get the gun, they might just be able to push all the way through. But I think that might be a little bit too much to add. Yeah, uh, Mustard got caught in uh, by the uh, Pyro splitting up him and Cable Air. Cable Air could have stayed in, but opted, made the smart play, got out the door, decided to keep his life, then keep Mustard alive. Um, but yeah, with the 30% uh, advantage here, you'd expect him to see this. Uh, not like last time where they kind of waited for that perfect push. You're going to see them pushing right away with this Uber. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how they post up here. Plenty of time to work with. Eight minutes. They've gotten good captures up to this point. We'll have the Uber charge here in just a few percentage points. Big advantage over Harblu as well. And again, you can see this kind of they're building up. Uh, here they come in lower right side as the flank comes in on the left. Yeah, and that, that sentry gun was really uh, distracted. Needs some help, though, getting a little bit closer here. Now the Uber Charge has faded off. Does not look look good for Cabler, who goes down. And that Uber is going to be stuffed. I think that comes down to a lot more, you know, them watching that lower entrance. Mm -hmm. Really keeping a lock on that a whole lot better. 
and uh, not allowing DRS to get in so quickly. The Wrangler on the sentry gun was a little bit weird. It was pointed behind. There was a big distraction, but DRS not able to capitalize on it. Yeah, the, uh, MTS expecting that push kind of knew how they wanted to counter that. One thing that also was uh, different that push, as Ninja went in straight away for the cart, but he got distracted trying to help out his heavy. Um, and I think he should have really kept on that cart, kept that cart uh, getting a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it looks like they're getting ready to get that push again, though. MTS is uh, sitting on Uber, it's just waiting for DRS to make the next move. It definitely all comes down to progress. I mean, you just got to get inch by inch and eventually end up at that capture point. And Harlu has the Uber charge, splitting up uh, those heels, putting buffs all over the place. Blue just making sure that cart is not sliding backwards, trying to get ready to go. They do have an Uber charge now. And uh, Tick's on direct hit now, so expect uh, as soon as this Uber comes in, for there to be a lot of focus on the gun. Yeah, they're finally trying to get out here. Jake goes down easy to Noko. That's a little unfortunate. See if they push regardless, or if they do wait for their uh, heavy weapons guy to come back. Tick's also extremely lit, so it looks like this will kind of slow down this push. And there goes Tech. So, I mean, Marissa and MTS continue to just get frags that pick away at uh, DRS's offensive capabilities. Yeah, and Murrow is uh, still on the Invis watch. And with this last point, I really don't know if he's making the wise choice with this. He keeps getting caught out. Um, it's, you know, uh, it looks like DRS is opting to push. No. It's like Noko was uh, kind of behind. They got distracted. But nope, they're deciding to keep on they're pushing from that lower bottom corner. Yeah, after they picked up Noko in panic, that was a good idea to get in there. The Rescue Ranger coming out, and again, the Wrangler-Rescue Ranger combo, as you know, Sigafu, extremely powerful, keeping that sentry gun up, and it finally goes down to Jake, but it took four players going down for Dead Ringer Storage. Yeah, I mean, obviously really deadly. The thing that they, uh, they really need to do is in this situation and in those pushes is what the French didn't do. Focus me. Focus the NG. Yeah. That's what, who you want to kill in those situations. You know, if he's dying, he can't rescue Ranger. That gun goes down really easily. Um, and, you know, MTS is playing, doing a good job of playing around their NG to not allow that to happen. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of pressure in here from DRS right now. They've gotten some good frags. Cabler at 90%, so he doesn't want to totally commit. But good pressure on the cart. And they should be coming out here. Cabler 100% finally on uh, Muster. They're going to use on this flank route. He's going to come out. Two kills already. Should be able to take out this gun as well. But needs players on the cart itself. Jake is down to 16 health. Couldn't do anything. Sniper on the cart now. K Blair goes down. Harblue's going to pop. And the cart progress gets stopped for now. It was looking like a pretty good push. But Mustard Overlord finally going down. And that is the end of it. Yeah, that, that push, I was actually really surprised at the effectiveness of it because uh, when they actually finally pushed in, they had three people alive, which was Mustard, the Medic, and the Sniper. Uh, and that's exactly some. he did what he needed to do, but no one was alive. No one was up to help push that card, and that's why you didn't mm -hmm. see any motion there. Yeah, you guys also missed that Hardblue had a really clutch Uber soft play there to get the Uber and uh, Uber's team. Oh, nice. Always yeah, so he, much he jumped down the cart, yeah going on it's hard to tell uh, but that's obviously a clutch play anytime you can get that extra 25 percent i mean that's a big deal in this game uh, it is so focused on uber charges uh, and I just wanna, yeah, 75 percent go ahead Sigafu. He, he's going he's on crits now if you didn't see that oh interesting okay that's a good switch up with this open air nature of this last point could get those crit stickies flowing around but it's gonna have to get another drop just like before as hardwood is ready to go of course if they get a push in Oh, uh, gets Vaporeon on to start things off. There goes Katsy. Harbu is propped uh, just to really protect himself, but uh, he's so far back, they're not really using that invulnerability up in combat. And uh, perhaps the follow-up to this, MTS can, uh, well, sorry, DRS can come out ahead. You get some good frags on MTS, but they're not really that in close right now. Must yeah. be doing a really good job of spamming out. MTS really getting clumped up in that back left corner of their spawn. Engineer on the cart. They need to just throw bodies on the cart. Oh, Engineer mm -hmm. getting the pick on Platinum. It looked, no, no. Nah. Whoever was on the cart, but uh, the medic on the cart. Can they get this? Platinum jumping down on the cart, throwing down the stickies. The pans oh. are out. Sniper oh, no. Goes down. Here, Here comes, comes the heavy. heavy weapons guy back in. Pyro trying to get uh, flare shots as well. Spy still working. Here comes Buster Lo Overlord from the side as well. But Harblue staying up with 26 health, and ouch, so close, but not able to do that. 
Tick's jumping in, getting Harblue, uh, who is standing on the cart, and, uh, wow, that's, uh, it's gonna be nice, it's gonna allow them to get that final push in, I think this, uh, this is looking up for, uh, DRS right now, with the cart being so close, and just needing one more push in. I think K-Blair actually didn't take enough risks on that last push, we'll see what, uh, happens here for DRS. It lost a lot of players early, though, as, uh, MTS does a really good job of focusing their damage. A spy gets on the point, but Murrow taken down. Capture very close. Harblue forced to stand on it. Soldier comes in, <laughs> just tries to get Harblue again. Harblue at 90 health, though, feeling pretty comfortable. No, DRS is doing a great. They knew, are doing exactly what they need to do. They, they lost a lot of people in that spam, but they're keeping and, that card right there. And here comes crits again as well. Sorry to cut you off, but Mustard Overlord positioning to come in. First one gets reflected. You're going to rotate to the far right side. Still trying to throw him in. Does get Harblue. There you go. Oh, and he gets two more as well. Soldier jumping around undetected on the side. Mustard should be able to clean that up. Does take down Panic. It's just Platinum in the Sentry Gun. Platinum going to go down. Ends up trading Caber kills. And there we go. 1242. Could have been a little bit faster, but we have seen tough times here. Thrown down DRS. At least clocks in a capture. MTS defense eventually crumbles. Uh, yeah. Thoughts on that, Valen? Um, yeah, we're seeing MTS learn to play the map uh, as they're playing their match. Uh, hopefully we'll see them come in and um, have this go to a third half. Yeah, the one big thing I saw with that uh, last push this time was the first push that DRS had, or was, I forget which push it was, but the gun, as you said, we talked about, the gun, gun, gun. But it went down right away uh, on that push on the first round, and DRS won that really handily. This time, Spamfest did a good job. Kept the gun up. DRS uh, eventually went over to crits. And uh, I think what DRS did really good when when they did this is, is got Ninja on that cart, got that cart really close, and that's what finally led him to get it. Because as Valen said in the pregame, when you get that cart close enough, it forces the defensive team to actually hold over top of it, and that's ultimately what let DRS uh, get that win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, K Blair maybe could have been a little bit aggress more aggressive in some ways. They're keeping that medic tucked. But that second to last uh, push seems like they could have had those heals out there. They could have cleaned it up a little bit easier. It doesn't have to weigh in the back of their minds now. Now they just have to focus on this defense. And we'll see what MTS can get going uh, offensively here. And MTS again. Patented MTS. Coming out right out the gate with their medic. Uh, trying to take that ground. Mm -hmm. And that's a fine strat. Get those heals forward. As long as you don't drop Harblu. Who takes a big shot there. Down to 20 health. Can't hold on to it any longer. Can't risk it. So forced to Uber here. So Platinum coming forward, trying to get damage out here. Uh, and Panic getting thrown around as well. A lot of players going down for MTS together. Harblue staying up and backing out. And uh, Spy in on Red uh, Medic, but Noko going to go down. Yeah, and you know, that's kind of, just as we were saying that, you know, it's it's a strategy that works, but, you know, Tix had a really nice bomb there, forced Harblue. Uh, obviously, MTS has a little bit of advantage. They're actually coming in right now to, oh, big bomb by Panic right there, taking down Muster Overlord, uh, and still putting out the damage, and DRS is going to have to back up right here. Mm-hmm. And that's an early concession, so, I mean, definitely a strong start for MTS. Last rounds as well, when they were able to get that momentum going, they were able to just kind of keep pushing through and stay aggressive. So we'll see if they're able to do that here. Hardass Johnny does get a reflect kill on Platinum. And uh, Red's just trying to set up at the top of the ramp inside this bunker here. Good, uh, well actually no, Filthy Casual does go down. Harblue forced to pop under pressure. Engineer falls down there as well with the Uber. Mustard's coming out with the Uber right on the card, pushing back the Engineer uh, as DRS is gonna have time to set up on the second point. Mm -hmm. Sap goes down on the sentry gun Trying to keep the uh, engineer away from the gun as well Able to keep it up though So Chill maintains that level 2 Hoping to get it to a level 3 shortly here and One thing to note is that MTS does not have any of their uh, pick classes up right now Both their sniper and spy are down mm -hmm. So we'll see how uh, MTS can continue this offense should be able to just kind of get their numbers up here. That gun, when it was a little bit more forward for the defense instead of just tucked away, seemed to be more effective in the earlier holds, but obviously still going to be a large factor here. Harblue at 90% Uber charge, so they're getting ready to go. Trying to clear out that side door. Big jump in, though, by the Red Soldier. 
Hard Blue forced to pop a little bit earlier. What can Platinum get done here? Gun being Rescue Ranger, staying up for now, still maintains it, its, uh, <coughs> its uh, structural stability. Finally goes down, though. So just holding on for that one extra second. He might actually have been able to hold that away and uh, be held that out long enough, but already building up on that third. And I think, you know, DRS, is, looks like the way they're playing that point is they don't even care about holding second for more than just whatever they can get out of it is whatever mm -hmm. they can get out of it when they hold so passively uh, inside that house. But it seems they really want to hold this third point. That's really what they want to hold on to. And they got that Uber uh, ready to stop any kind of push in by MTS. Certainly with how the last round went and uh, DRS able to push through here pretty cleanly. Give them some extra time to hold on last if they can uh, fight some time out here. And yeah, but MTS looking much better than they did last round with this offense. It seems they're a little bit cleaner. Mm -hmm. Now Marissa got thrown in the air there by the soldier jumping in. Who was able to escape. Almost killed Marissa. Would have been a nice pickoff. Just slow down that offense because certainly Marissa's been pretty hot tonight. And her getting some uh, picks is uh, definitely crucial to the offense. And uh, one thing I want to point out is that Sneaky Polar Bear, the heavy for DRS, is actually... Or did he move away? He was playing flank heavy. He was just standing completely on the flank side for about at least 30 seconds, but nobody ever came. Always like to see a little bit of uh, flank heavy. Always scary to run into. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Ninja does kill Spam Fest. So Blue Engineer down. He was kind of lurking around ahead. Ubers have been cycled on both teams. Hard Blue staying up. Blue has gotten a little bit of space with a scout on the cap as well. Trying to push it further forward. Skid's going to get back on there uh, as uh, Ninja has to come in and contest. Goes down, though. Didn't have the the, the health to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Squid. Squid taking down Tix. He's actually in the backfield right now. Getting caught in by uh, Dunk to the heavy. Uh, it looks like DRS. I was a little bit worried about them getting caught in there, but they got a nice back out here. Um, and uh, now it's going to come down again to that last point. There goes that capture, so eight minutes on the clock. And certainly Seed hold, uh, holds that long so far tonight. Uh, if MTS can get the capture here, though, we are going to head towards a third set. So they're certainly fighting to stay alive, while DRS just wants to close things out here. DRS playing uh, very aggressive on this side, pushing straight in. Oh, drops Mustard on that push. Uh, so mm. they're just going straight in with Johnny. Trying to get some frags out, but the Pyro's going to keep them inside. And a soldier's coming behind. Hard as Johnny getting the reflect on Panic. And Uber in oh, by Harbour. This is going to be devastating, though, as a DRS losing a lot of key players here. They've lost K Blair. They lost Jake. Mustard Overlord just spawning. But Harbour able to stay away from that last Uber charge, as you mentioned, dropping uh, Mustard Overlord. So K Blair didn't really have much to work with. And Harbour just stayed on the capture. Uh, or, sorry, stayed on the cart. Pushing it with teammates. Now they're in a pretty good position here. Certainly could uh, use that cart a little bit further in before they totally push. They got plenty of Uber charge to work with and can even have time to sacrifice Squid if he wants to just try to push that cart as much as possible before they go in. Yeah, I mean, I th last game we saw MTS have an advantage, try to push in with it unsuccessfully. So I'm very curious to see if they're going to learn from the mistakes and uh, be able to utilize it and get down that gun, push in uh, with this 50% advantage that they have. Mm hmm. A Conqueror coming out here as well. I think that's actually Defensive Conqueror. Um, I don't see it yet. I... It was over on that far left side. Okay, yeah, ticks. there we go. K Blair just gets jumped from behind by Ticks. I say Harblue did. Uh, good penetration in, getting to that upper ledge. You're so close to the spawn, though, and also with the players coming from behind. So that's pretty much a complete wipe, and they didn't really even gain much turf on the cart either. That was crazy uh mts pushes in drs so they had their heavy on flank with the soldier soldier popped conk and then he ran behind them mts pushed in they had so much ground they took all this ground but they all pushed in at the same area so drs just kited the entire uber uber comes drops like ticks comes behind kills the medic like just like it was insane really great play by drs there by being able to kite the uber keep everybody alive and then just collapse onto mts and kill all of them mm -hmm. just really nice play yeah definitely and now we'll have to see what mts can come up with to kind of crack into things here five minutes uh in the well 20 seconds on the clock platinum goes down early though to mustard overlord just putting a ton of damage out here 
Spy, getting a, Noko getting a little bit of time on that card, getting a little bit forward. I think they're kind of learning their lesson from last time that they ignored that just a little bit too much. And Direct Hit coming out now from Panic. Tries to get the gun, but uh, does not get it in there while they're waiting uh, to get this push out. Curious to see if, if Harblue goes down in one of these pushes, if they perhaps switch over to Crits. Seems like it would be an effective switch off. It has been for k -Blair when they are pushing him. Some different pressures. They're f trying to figure out where to go yet uh, right now. And uh, I'd like to see Platinum uh, push through lower right. Conqueror pop once again. Oh, but I think he's doing the, the strat where you blow the horn and then you hold on to it. So as soon as he releases the button, they'll actually get the bonus. And in the mm. meantime, he's just walking around holding a shell. So, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, MGS like... looks like they're finally deciding to push from lower right. They're taking their sweet time. And here they come in right now. Uber out. Oh, Platinum down to a tech headshot. Wow. That's and, an uh, unfortunate loss uh, of Platinum early. Cape Blair does go down in the meantime, though, as well. Not quite sure how that happened, but that is a big loss. Oh, that was uh, uh, Marissa Vaporeon getting the snipe on Cape Blair. So they got the drop, but in the end, uh, it just didn't work regardless. Yeah, it looks like, uh, I'm kind of curious, the engineer switched to, on defense, switched to minis. I'm assuming that was just because his gun went down. Uh, I didn't see how his gun went down, but I'm kind of curious if he's going to come back to uh, oh level 3s. Which... Oh my god. Noko perfectly timed decloak to get the stab on K-Player. Uh, oh, that's Panic definitely an unfortunate loss. Got the uh, engineer as well, as well as the gun, so they have nothing to protect themselves right now as MTS pushes in with 3 minutes left in the clock. Yeah, Harblu on the uh, right side of the defense, pushing in hard. Uh, Soldier's trying to jump around to the side, but there's enough players in there to kind of protect Hardblue, who does have that crit screen. Hardblue does go down, though, to Jake jumping out. Squids uh, on the card. fairly they need close. Jake's going down, protecting the card. Mustard on the card, trying to protect it. The gun covering the card. Mustard wow. getting, or Tech getting the kill on Squid. Those Are they going to hold this? Yeah, I think so, at least for the moment. Those were two huge headshots. And then also Murrow with a big stab on Platinum. So following those headshots and that stab and Mustard Overlord being there as well as Harblue just going down uh, uh, early uh, to that heavy weapons guy, that put a stop to things. That is absolutely insane to hold that DRS. I don't, MTS, I, I can't, I don't know if DRS played that really well or MTS played that terribly, but wow, I cannot believe that DRS just held that point uh, after losing their Medic Engineer. And uh, now they're going to have Uber advantage as uh, DRS is going to... I'm sorry, MTS tries to push into last year. They have two minutes on the clock, so that's about two pushes. Yeah, if they get a good crits in here and they get the drop, that obviously is ideal. They're coming out just a little bit faster, but they didn't do it uh, just enough. Oh, 99%. Cable is going to be able to get the pop, though, so uh, that's definitely going to defuse the crits quite a bit. If they can get a kill on Harblue here, which uh, Mustard was in pretty good spot, did not do that. Cable gets away. There's only a few players up, though. They might have overcommitted to this hold. Yeah, they need and to keep this, this gun up. They got a direct hit. They're pushing around the right side. Wow. MTSs. Let's see if they're able to get down the gun, and that should end the game. There's, the card's so close. Somebody just get on the cart. MTS, get on the cart. Yeah, Jake comes up, and Platinum's out here, but the Ubersaw is out. And, oh, my God, the spawn's coming out here for DRS. Still a soldier in on the point. Very few players up for DRS. But they're getting the frags, and it's not really the combat classes for uh, MTS they are still alive. Squid under duress, a lot of uh, damage thrown his way. He's on fire. Hard-ass Johnny's going to go He's down. Got Mini Squid's got is it. up. Scout's on the point. Now it's the pyro, but blocked. Oh, my God. It's an intense finish here as we have a minute 20 left. Spy on the cart! Spy, Spy on the cart! On the cart. Oh, oh, he gets it! He gets it. And that was extremely close, but the cart did roll over. Did go into the hole, didn't just explode by itself. There, the capture point was captured in the kill feed. So you know that's that's about all you can ask for there. Wow, <laughs> wow. Yeah, and uh, looks like Marissa uh, talking a little bit of crap uh, about the map, but uh, I mean it's it's been a good been a good map. You know, been pretty exciting. Yeah, I think the one thing we can say there is that uh, DRS, their initial push, I think what it was, uh, MTS put up like a 14-minute time. DRS pushed in about 10 to 12 minutes. Second round, they pushed in about 12 minutes. Uh, but MTS pushed it that much quicker. So I'm kind of curious. Uh, as I said, MTS, they're improving every round that they're playing. So I'm kind of curious to see. Uh, mm -hmm. MTS should be on offense first, correct? Uh, yes, I, I believe so. 
Yeah, so I'm kind of curious to see if they're going to be able to put up. Their initial time again was uh, 14 minutes. They did, ju- did just about like 13 minutes there. So kind of curious if they'll, if they'll uh, be able to break that on this third time around. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, sorry, Valen, what did you see in the improvements of uh, MTS in that set? Um, I realized that MTS on that last point, uh, they they actually realized where they should push from, and uh, they just kept trying again. They finally got those picks they needed to push, and the one push that they really got a lot of ground in was the push where K-Blair went down, and then Hardblue had advantage, but it wasn't much. He just pushed in with like 30% because they had like – they just were going off a medic pick. And that's one thing MTS does really well out of all the mm-hmm. Highlander teams. They're really good at pushing without Ubers. And uh, that's when they got most of their uh, ground covered on that last push, and that really helped them uh, win that last round. Now it looks like we do have Spam Fest uh, has gone into the spectator slot, so it must be AFK. Uh, we'll have a, a bit more of an extended break here. See if we can pull up those stats of that second set and uh, see what's see how things went. I have to pull them up myself as well, but will be just a second. I'm trying to grab it myself right now. Let's see who can get there first. It's a race. Oh God! Uh, shout out to Technosex and Sizzling Calamari for developing SizzlingStats.com. Fantastic website. If you know the player name, you can just search the player name and then draw up their recent history. So really not too tricky to pull things up. And uh, we'll see, let's see. It looks like Mustard didn't have as crazy of uh, damage per minute as he did the time before. 423 in this set as opposed to that ridiculous 511. Still a pretty crazy amount of frags, though. Um, also, Marissa still getting... Uh, well, getting a slight edge in the sniper battle. Looks like Tech did have a few more headshots, um, but Marissa getting better damage per minute and better frags. Yeah, you'll see that. We, you know, I put my co uh, Fox plays with the uh, what are the Machina as well. So you'll see that it's always never wins a headshot battle, but can still keep up with those body shots. Mm-hmm. Platinum definitely a little bit lower in the frag count for MTS that time. But still topping off on damage done. Yeah, All I, down I, to this third set here, Sigfu. Yeah, this is this is gonna be exciting. Um, you know, the poll started out 50-50. It's coming down to 50-50. Uh, I'm looking forward to this third round. I I really think it's anybody's game. Hmm. Yeah, wide open now as a Minister Society. You know, maybe you've picked up some confidence. Maybe you've warmed up on this map, uh, payload style of play. Dead Ringer Storage uh, have put together some good defensive efforts, maybe a few very slight uh, missteps in that last defensive effort. And uh, on this first point, uh, it's been very different. We've seen um, MTS hold that first house, that first shack, while Dead Ringer Storage not even deciding to mess with that. They're playing pretty back here. We'll have to see if their uh, defensive can slow down uh, MTS enough. Yeah, I, I don't really like DRS's uh, hold right here. I think it's a little bit just too passive. It worked out in the uh, the first round, um, I think, because just MTS made a misstep. But I, I think that DRS, they're, they're not really trying. You know, they could get an extra minute out of this hold, I think, out of this first point. And uh, ooh, down goes Muster to a nice snipe by Marissa right there. So that's going to make it really easy for uh, MTS to push in right here. Yeah, they're not scared of Sticky Traps. Platinum does go down early is a good chunk of the offensive pushing power. Jump from the soldier over the top, denied by the sentry gun. Noko goes down as well. So Tech and Mustard should get a chance to respawn and get out here and get involved with this fight. Sentry gun is down, however. See how much the cable decides to invest in this. Mustard now over the top, putting down the stickies down onto the car, putting down the damage. Again, playing the game of chicken. Who's going to pop first? It's MTS coming in onto uh, DRS. Mustard just getting off that Uber in time. They're trading Ubers, and it looks like DRS is just going to back off here and uh, give up that first point while they uh, drop a little too many players right there. But uh, they should be able to hold second here. Yeah, that was definitely a better exchange for uh, MTS across the board. And uh, Panic does go down to Ninja as he kind of tries to fly away. Um, we saw a fair amount of forward holds here with uh, from the offensive perspective, uh, that right house being held by uh, the defensive team. But it doesn't really look like uh, DRS is in much of a position to do that right now. Sentry gun at that lower level door to the bunker while the cart being pushed up the ramp. Yeah, getting this hold in the house, uh, 
it just seems that you can easily get spammed in it. I think they're really holding second to hold third. They're not really trying to hold second for anything more than whatever I can get out of his great, but I really want to hold the third point because they can just easily get spammed in here, and uh, MTS is going to come in over the top. Oh, Platinum can push back, but keep it up, and Harblue can push back. Counter pop by uh, DRS coming in on the cart. Mustard putting down damage on the cart. The cart is so close to the point. Spamfest getting on it. Looks like uh, DRS is just losing some players. But Squid getting out of the car, trying to get the cap on, goes down. Crazy. Yeah, pretty good Uber though uh, by MTS, and also good recovery. Uh, Hardly able to kind of surf things away and keep the heels down there, reconnect with uh, Platinum. And uh, now the second point definitely captured, and Red is fleeing backwards. Oh my god, Chill getting his head shotted down. That's going to stop him from getting any sort of meaningful gun up. Uh, anytime soon at least might you know there's a lot of track on this Borneo map but uh, still gonna be difficult for them to establish themselves on this third point yeah, and MTS already in on the third point they are just about to have Uber they actually have about a 20% advantage here they come in aggression right away over the top uh, DRS is gonna get caught in here potentially Cabler trying to get away Cabler Harblue going for the medic Cabler just pops it in time but getting air blasted back Mustard takes out the pyro Getting down onto the cart, putting the damage down the cart, stopping that from advancing. That's so important. Jake coming in on the flank, getting a 2K with Mustard getting to 2K. Uh, really great recovery. Diaris went from looking like they were going to lose everything to gaining it all back. Really nice job. Yeah, definitely. That was a really solid recovery there. Uh, K Blair definitely playing things very close. And uh, they were able to establish themselves and get a lot of kills against MTS. Disrupting the engineer also very helpful. Uh, because those four teleporters are certainly going to help your players get involved in the fight. Jake doing that ninja heavy. Gets a pickup on Katzi. Also in a good position. He's going to deal a ton of damage here. Should see the crits creek out by Harlow uh, earlier than we've seen it in the other sets. But that's still a good option here on offense. Yeah, the question will be, well, does DRS find this out? And do they... Because if you have Uber, they're holding on to crits. Uh, you can potentially just push out to them rather than uh, trying to wait for it if you know Harbu's holding close. Mm-hmm. Uh, Here comes only a Kong? level 2 sentry gun up top. Conk is out. Uh, at least, again, that's probably that... It oh, popped it on the flank side, okay. it looked like. Okay. I was also wondering, too, whether he was also doing what Crits he did in. before. Not properly popping it. Crits is countered by the uh, Uber charge. Cable are getting out and uh, spreading the love to make sure that several of his players uh, are protected. Most of those crit stickies dealt with. So not that effective, but... Again, in these crits versus... Oh, my God. And then there goes Marissa uh, sniping down K-Blair. I was going to say, if these uh, crits versus Uber Dynamics, you know, if you just get a good crits and everybody survives and you get some territory, then you're definitely, you know, pulling off good charges. And um, I was about to say, watch out for uh, Sneak here. He was watching over the overhang, got Harblue on the uh, push. Harblue is on the cart, and wow. uh, this is going to give K-Blair the advantage uh, coming into last. Big swing right there. Great flank uh, play by the heavy right there. Yeah, we also have uh, Tix uh, still lurking around, trying to come in. He's going to find Platinum, throwing out the black box, but not able to get the frag. Uh, Hard Blue back, uh, dealing some uh, heals out, and is on a uh, regular metagun. So we are uh, back in this uh, last point hold for defense. Mustard Overlord, though, goes down very quickly. Aggressive push out this side. That's a really big deal because they keep, they don't have that spam to keep it off. Uh, and the engineer goes down, does not get the sap on the gun. Gun finally does go down to the soldier, and it, let's see if they're able to take a lot of ground. Platinum is yeah, they're kind of holding close, but Mustard's about to come back up. Oh, Cabler sniped again by Marissa. Big picks there. MTS pulled back, and now Harblue forced to use the Uber charge. As I believe that was Ninja coming in, but they are going to get some use out of this. They still have a good numbers advantage. The heavy weapons guy, Jake, doing good work. Takes out Filthy Casual. I'm sure that MTS would have loved to uh, maintain him uh, staying alive. Harblue, very low health. Oh, my God. I think Crater is down to the ground. Big Frag's coming up from DRS. Medic's down, though. K-Blair no longer standing. And players going down. It's Mustard Overlord. And uh, just Ninja. Not really that many players here. Heavy weapons guy is out, though. And it's only Filthy Casual forward. So they are going to continue to hold this defense. 
Yeah, really great job. And I think, you know, kind of as I'm watching these pushes and how Diaris is uh, recovering so well from, you know, being out of an advantage, is they're spreading out a lot. So they can't lose a lot of frags quickly, and then they're able to kind of collapse on the frags that they need to get. And you see them kind of playing around the cart on that last push in, and they're able to collapse a lot of damage onto it. But, oh, Noko getting the stab on Tix on the cart. Oh, so close. But she goes down, but it's going to be right there. And then, oh, no, never mind. Somebody got sniped, but... Yeah, it was a good just... three feet that Noko got out of that, you know. And if you keep keep doing that and, you know, stop the cart from rolling backwards and make just a little bit of progress, you definitely could have a, a big impact in this game. Jake tried to eat a sandwich on cart, get sniped down. It's going to force Red to just Noko get on, on the again. cart. Oh, my God. Spy is there. This time with Squid. Oh, my God. Things stopped. Squid Big plays by the uh, engineer hit. right there. Getting the spam down on the cart, being able to take out both those guys. Uh, wow. Yeah, Cableyer just died though. Too panic. That's a big frag. As Harblue ready to go with an Uber charge. Definitely have to watch out for the Red Spy himself. It's pretty far back, but uh, yeah, and here comes the Uber charge. They're so not going to be able to get a drop opportunity. Platinum walking in from the side, trying to get the Sentry Gun down. Harblue though, uh, Uber is faded. Maybe a little too early with the whole movement. He goes down. A lot down for MTS. That was a big advantage that might have gone to waste. Yeah, and again, that's kind of like, you know, the, the old uh, Rescue Ranger Wrangler combo. Um, they just not focus down the gun enough. You saw, you know, one was focusing it down, then the other, when they had the heavy demo. They didn't focus it down together, uh, and uh, they were able to keep that up. Noko coming in on the cart, just keeping that cart nice and close uh, for the next push that they're going to have. Yeah, the cart actually has drifted out a fair amount, at least to make DRS feel a little bit more comfortable with things. They do have a 70% charge. Meanwhile, Harblue... Switch to crit screen and is at 50%. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, Murrow, nice stab right in the face of Harblue. Was lurking around this unfortunate circumstances for Harblue getting stabbed there. And oh wow. yeah, Marissa going nutty. He gets three kills real quick there. Uh another one on Chill. That's a big pickup, but that is the engineer, of course. Ubercharge out though. So Mustard Overlord uh, gets a little bit of charge. Now starting to back things up. Um, Blue Heavy with that uh, sandwich was eating it, but couldn't get killed. And Marissa as Vap Vaporeon still continuing to do work here. Oh my Just, god, gets Kabler. What? It was a total of eight on the kill streak, but Kabler right at the end there, perhaps the most important. And Harlu with 90% Crits Creek. Platinum's going to be teleporting in. Right above the heavy weapons guy here. Let's see if they just drop and use it. Definitely want to get in here with Platinum. It is activated. Not good angles right now. He does get a, a point blank a pipe to ticks, but that's about it. What stopped them from uh, being able to push in from there? Did they get stuffed by something? Uh, I don't know. Just weird angles and Platinum's down. Harblue's down. They, they just rotated right, but I think they should just drop down the middle. Even though, of course, the sentry gun's there. Uh, they were just really nervous, and uh, that uh, crit screen didn't come together. I would not want to cross Marissa right now. She is absolutely on fire. Mm -hmm. 80% right for there. K player. Uh, dodge those uh, headshots from Marissa. Going to have an Uber charge up here shortly. Platinum down again. MTS maybe getting a little frustrated here as they're having difficulties closing the capture. This is allowing DRS to extend their defense. Cart is pushing backwards. Someone needs to touch it, but nobody wants to risk getting out there. Panic down, filthy casual down. Yeah, they're they're actually. What's interesting is that uh, the engineer is keeping on chills, or sorry, Skag is keeping on uh, the minis, even though he's got time to rebuild right now. Um, but we'll see kind of if that's going to affect MTS's next push in. I actually didn't notice we have a quick fix out here for K Blair, so um, that's an interesting switch up. Obviously, the heels of that are are great. The extra mobility is uh, pretty negligible here. Not really going to be using that. Uber charge comes in, uh, pushing out. They need, need bodies to get on the players cart. on the cart. Yep, exactly. Just times one on there right now as the crits quick fix is used on the other side. Keeps all the players alive, and uh, Blue still has some presence, but they're going to go to a, down to a flank here in a second. Uh, Platinum does get Enja, but uh, Hard Blue is going to be. Yeah. Oh my God. There we go. Continues to be. Overexposed, taken out by a lot of combined pressure. 
Yeah, and right there in that push, you can really see uh, MTS's weakness. And uh, Dead Ringer is uh, Dead Ringer storage is going to continue to run that to quick fix as uh, Mustard Overlord gets sniped down by Marissa. Another nice pick, but no really chance to kind of capitalize on things here. Uh, I'm not 100% expert on quick fix charges in terms of how much faster it is than the Uber Gun. Certainly, maybe a slight opportunity that they could have used it just to use it and get forward and then kind of fall back. Really not much point on that, so they're just going to maintain this quick fix. Also, probably a possibility they probably could have possibly changed off it, but Hard Blue goes down again. Wow. And that was Jake. Jake doing big work here on this defense. They just don't know where to expect them, and he's been getting some really good picks. Yeah, uh, and uh, Noko on the car right now uh, might be able to get a few feet forward, but uh, wow. gets caught out and going to try to run away. By my count, I think that Jake is up to like a, a 10 kill streak here or something. He's been getting a lot of frags over the course of this life. Yeah, on defense, topping the scoreboard, that's uh, that's crazy. Yeah. It's just his mobility. He picks up Panic again. It's hitting him from odd angles, hitting him through that center lobby. Well, that's, you know, that's the thing is, like, people really don't appreciate, I think, how effective 300 health with the highest DPS can be on the flank. Uh, you know, tending to leave them with a combo, but, but, you know, keeping him on the flank here, he's just doing a ton of work. Noko just gets a slight uh, touch to the cart to stop it from rolling backwards, but that's about it. Let's see, MTS has uh, Uber right now. Are they still on Uber? Yeah, here they come in yep. from the lower right. Conqueror used, and uh, the Pyro just air blasting things away. Mainly just keeps the heavy weapons guy suspended in air. He's doing good work, but is pretty damaged. The quick fix is out, trying to keep Cable Air alive. And uh, the point very close to being captured, but player is deflected away. A minute left on it, and Soldier still lurking around on the side. Going to get juggled up in the air. Panic still, fest. though, alive. There you go. Yeah, Spamfest ran in there right at the heavy, said, nope, this is my point, took him down, and uh, gets the capture with a little bit of help of Squid at the end. That uh, combat engineer can be very crucial to, to actually closing out uh, caps and uh, making sure that everything goes uh, smoothly at the end. Um, but uh, indeed, uh, DRS holding on to that point a lot longer than expected after uh, just kind of how it looked initially. Yeah, the other thing that happened with that last push is um, Noko got on the cart pretty much straight away and got it to as close as it did, um, and, which is the reason why Spamfest was able to uh, come in at the last second and, and get that kill. So uh, mm -hmm. focusing that cart on those pushes, I think, is something that MTS was struggling at, and they, they got it fixed right there and were able to get that cap. Valen, any uh, notes from you on that second set? Oh, uh, no, not really, besides Marissa going absolutely huge and amazing. Yeah, that was a, a pretty insane spree, and I think kind of countered by Jake as well. I, I'm pretty sure he had a, a pretty ridiculous spree in there, getting some pickoffs, and uh, Ninja Heavy at last being very dangerous. Yeah, I'm get, sure get, if he had a kill counter, he would have been pretty insane there, too. I just want to give some really quick stats. Jake, 28 kills, next oh, one, 19. Marissa... Oh, 23 kills, next closest on our team, 10. Both players going wow. absolutely ham for their respective teams. Big jump in by Mustard Overlord. Gets the sentry gun down before he gets cleaned up. Just a suicidal jump, so no big surprise there. Cable Air uh, staying tucked away as uh, Jake goes down early. Platinum goes down. Platinum down. And uh, Tech actually getting a snipe on Marissa as well. So that should help uh, open things up. Hard Blue starting to rotate. They're leaving that first spawn, uh, or sorry, first hold. Oh, and Hard Blue taken out, was under a lot of pressure, ends up being Tech getting the, the uh, headshot there. So that's a big loss. Cabler with full Uber charge. Uh, uh, yeah, now rotating around outside the uh, first house. Yeah, really nice uh, push out there from DRS initially. Yeah, pretty clean and easy, no real problems. Cabler. Might have to worry about getting forced into popping here. Otherwise, they'll be able to just continue the pressure. Cable Air juggled up in the air. Does have to pop at 60%. But Mustard might be able to get a good aggressive jump here. Indeed, he does. Denied by this sentry gun a little bit. Throwing uh, pipes out there. Actually missing a couple. The sap is here as well, though. So this level 2 is going to go down. They can keep this pressure up and uh, disrupt this hold in the bunker. That's going to be uh, an easy capture on the second point. But 
Mustard Overlord down. Jake getting good frags, but a lot of other players very lit up in uh, in this battle. Yeah, but they're going to be able to get this capture. Only five up for uh, MTS right here. Spam coming down the cart, but that should not wow. be enough. Platinum going down, and uh, DRS getting the nice cap. Yeah, that was a very good quick capture here. And uh, they're in the situation where they're about to get some spawns, so they should be able to just maintain their whole team. Oh, keep Cape big alive. shot by Tech taking down Harblue right there. Man, this defense is not uh, going well for MTS. Cable in a weird spot, though. It's going to pick up the health pack. Went for an Uber, so I don't think he hit it or really needed it. Um, but uh, Cape uh, kind of iffy positioning for a second, does survive. That big pick on Harblue means that they have a huge advantage here. Yeah, I think what's happening with MTS right here is they're just getting a little bit too aggressive. They're getting caught in uh, twice now, and uh, Harblue's getting killed in the retreat. Spamfest mm -hmm. caught in too close, gets taken down right away. Gun goes down. Uh, Mustard coming in through, trying to get on the combo. Platinum coming back with his own stickies. Johnny going for the Harblue, not taking him down, but MTS, I'm sorry, uh, DRS is going to be able to take third pretty easily right here. Oh, and man. Harblue's still kind of stuck in some weird positions. Um, gonna Still pressure coming in on him. Both the Engineer, oh, Engineer punches him to death. Double That's another punch. kill as well. Wow, he's going to stop for a second, throw out the uh, heavy metal guitar taunt. And, well, that's a pretty good uh, achievement there. Big frag on Harblue. The pressure is going to just keep coming from DRS. Mini Sentry at the uh, entrance to this last point. And they got 10 full minutes to work with here. Piss of Steel coming out on the car, trying to get a little bit of uh, pressure on there. Uh, but they got 50% advantage. They've been able to successfully push this. Uh, MTS had a really good hold last time around. Held them about four or five times. So let's see uh, if MTS can uh, pull off a miracle again and get a 10-minute hold on this point, which I think is uh, the longest it's been here. Mm -hmm. It's definitely doable. I mean, we've seen some successful holds in here. Uh, Ubercharge advantage for blue team, though. They're going to come in from lower. This is the uh, push they like. The spy comes in as well. Gets the sap. That's going to take the gun down. Mustard Overlord taking that good positioning. Well, there's a times four on the cart. Spy trying to disrupt things. Does stop the capture. Cable are now in an awkward position. It's going to lead to a lot of players going down. And uh, that's a good initial push by Blue. Not going to be able to get it all the way, but they do get it quite a, a ways in inside here. Yeah. I mean, they didn't, they didn't get the cap, but they got the cart closer. They did get a full wipe there, but really nice coordination between uh, Murrow and uh, the rest of the team to get that sap on as they're pushing in. Now, uh, interesting quandary here is we do have a little bit of downtime. I just want to ask Valen real quick. The uh, time for the stopwatch is 9.10, but the time for this last point is 8.10. Would it, would it stop early if it uh, hit that eight-minute mark first? Um, I'm not sure. How does that work, Sigafoo? Yeah, Colt's saying they get the extra minute. I certainly hope so, but maybe that's just kind of an oddity of uh, stopwatch. Hopefully that uh, would be a little distressing, uh, in my opinion, if uh, they lost out on a minute push time. That uh, would be a disputable occasion, but uh, hopefully the map uh, sticks with us. And, well, I guess DRS is hoping they don't even need that circumstance. They still have plenty of time here. It looks like they're kind of just uh, trading a little bit of spam here, uh, kind of waiting to get that push in. looks like they're going to be pushing in from that left side. Yeah, that seems where they're positioning, but they are starting to rotate a little bit. I don't think they really have the demo man in uh, position to do a lower right push. They've been favoring this push out of their left side and then kind of just, you know, continuing to wrap around and making sure that they don't get flanked, but holding on to that uh, corner. Uh, seems to be their preferred method, while uh, Mustard Overlord and DRS were pushing from the lower right, using the spy to make sure that that sentry gun gets sapped. And uh, Panic going down the soldier for MTS, which is actually kind of a big deal. He was uh, doing a lot of work on flank there, so they might be able to take some more ground as uh, Tix is right now trying to get some spam down onto, uh, not necessarily onto the sentry gun, but at least onto the sniper. Yeah, Harblue is keeping his head uh, tucked in, just at this very back uh, behind these barrels. Not getting too exposed. Platinum getting some good frags. And the Cabler actually very lit as well. They use the Uber Charge. Cabler continuing to come in here. I'm not so sure about this. Might just want to cycle at this point. Yeah, Mustard's going to get cut in here. Oh, yeah. barely gets out there. Close one for Cabler as well. It just seems like a risky proposition. Spy is in. Gets a sap down on the gun. 
at the same time that the soldier is trying to work it. Mustard trying to throw in some damage in here as well. Uber Charge came out, I think, almost more so to just protect the engineer than anything else. Cable Air can escape here, then uh, that's a pretty good situation, pretty good setup for DRS. Of course, yeah, nobody to heal, though, means that we'll be losing out on some of that Uber advantage. Yeah, one thing to point out here is that the card is actually closer after that push. Um, you know, that's one thing that they've been doing as a good job at is, is getting that cart pushed up during the pushes, regardless of, of whether it's successful or not. Mm -hmm. So we'll see here if DRS can close this out. They just need one good push to uh, get all the way through here. And uh, they do have a slight uber advantage here, looking to push in. Five percentage points away, so any second now. Here comes Mustard Overlord. They've got good penetration before they needed to use. And throwing out good damage. Should be able to take out Harblu here. Does indeed. The sentry gun down as well. So there goes the big tools of the MTS defense. And Time a lot of numbers on the point. That's going to be very helpful. Forces the response from MTS. Just have to take down the heavy weapons guy. Filthy casual though. Very low. Platinum down. That's a wipe. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Dead rigger storage. The successful push at the end to finish things off. Take that offensive set. Take the map here. We, you know, that was kind of our pick for this uh, game, that DRS would persevere with uh, better tactics over the death match of Menace to Society. I, I guess that's how you could describe it. Sigafu, what's your final wrap-up of this match? You know, I think this was an example exactly as you're kind of saying is the coordination of DRS. MTS's aggression, it worked at times. Uh, it stagnated at others, but their defense just didn't quite seem to have uh, what it needed to be to hold on to that last point. Valen, some final words from you as well? Oh, Valen bailed on us. I guess we we missed out on that. But thanks to Valen for popping in here with us. It was great to have his insight as one of the map creators. And uh, we certainly had a great time covering this match for you guys. It turned out to be extremely close at the end there. And uh, uh, great, great excitement. Um, Sigafu, thanks for joining me, man. Uh, you want to give some shout outs? Uh, uh, let's give a shout out first to Cold, our beautiful cameraman who everybody loves and did an absolute job. Great job today. Uh, for myself, I guess I'll just shout out to everybody, all my viewers out in the audience tonight. Uh, I also stream, check me out at twitch.com or twitch.tv slash Sigafu. Um, shout out to Kip for helping me set this up and, uh, thanks X Stein for having me here. Yep, there we go. Now uh, our cameraman, Cold, should be appearing on Nine and Out, our Highlander talk show that's uh, happening tomorrow at 8.30 Eastern, I think, question mark, uh, 8.15. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's exciting. If you guys can tune into that. If not, that'll be on YouTube. Our uh, coverage of this will be on our YouTube as well. And uh, thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. We will be casting next week. And as we get closer to playoffs here, we're going to be making plans to uh, be doing double coverage. I know that Huey Lewis interested in casting with us again, and hopefully we can have Sigafu back. So thanks for Absolutely. watching, ladies and gentlemen. I am Eckstein, and I will see you next time. Peace out. Yeah.